Hi there and welcome back to Diablo. I'm Byron and we are on level 16, the final level of hell. So we use Reflect and maybe we try Berserk. Let's see what that does. Uh, hold a second, I will take a look at the manual and see what it actually does. Okay, I'm back. I thought the Berserk would like, you know, the Berserk in the AD&D games would make your attacks stronger. But actually it doesn't do that. Um, let's, you know, it Berserks are the monsters. It means if you use that Berserk spell next to other monsters, they might not only attack the player, but everybody. Even other monsters. So that's the effect of the Berserk spell. But they would, of course, still attack the player if the player is close enough. Um, but yeah, so you can get those knights to turn on each other here. But I guess a berserk of the fir spell of the first level probably won't work against those knights. We should probably need to buff it up. And I don't really need that spell at all. I mean, I do my own damage here with the bow, and that's enough. Oh, Rex, give me that Rex. So that room apparently still is inaccessible for us. Here, actually, uh, that's where Diablo is in. I don't know whether we could actually teleport in there. Shall we try that? Before we do that, we save. Teleport? Yeah, we can teleport in here. Holy shit. Let's not do this. Oh, my reflect. Oh yeah, I reloaded and reflect is gone. Um, get it again. Not hitting. I was not hitting him, but even aiming at, aiming at the knight. Oh hi. I thought I heard something. Oh well. Okay, we use that lever. all that. Anything else lying around here? Yes. Scroll of Apocalypse. <laughs> Shit. Leave me in peace. Thank 
you. And there's another lever here. And the book of the guardian. Phasing, we used that lever. Yes, we did. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's pretty much it. Oh, hi. Where did you come from? Okay. What's the scroll of phasing? Okay, let's save. As you can see, now that room is open. But we don't want to go in there yet. Before we actually kill Diablo, we will draw away a few of his friends. Okay, we got him. Okay, now we can use the telekinesis spell. Where is it here? to get that stuff. Awesome, eh? A few more knights come to play with us. Nobody needs runes of stone. Okay, nobody here apparently. Oh, there are a few knights. Oh. Get here. <laughs> That's Diablo. I don't want to trigger him yet. Okay. Who else is there? Oh, there are a few knights. Okay.
You dropped something. Kite shield. Where did the mage go? Oh hi, stop it. Okay, that was the mage. Oh, there's another mage there, okay. The problem is once you've killed Diablo, the game is over. And so it's good to kill all of his friends first so you get the XP and then leave and um, kill Diablo actually Tom Portal so we don't need that anymore hello my friend stay a while and listen Ah, we don't really need that. Well, what can I do for you? See, it's a, a platinum bow, uh, plus chance to hit, plus 31, and uh, shield structure means it's it has a very high durability, 83 maximum. But we well, don't need that. What can I do for you? Halt. I need to heal. What ails you, my friend? See? No quests. Although we still have this one here. Your story is quite grim. But nobody except Dagger King the Elder has to say anything about that, I guess. I sense a soul in search of answers. Nothing we really need. Although I still want a few potions of full healing. And we take those items with us. For the next game. That was a mistake, it doesn't matter. What ails you, my friend? Okay, this will be interesting. I think it will still be quite difficult to battle Diablo. Although we have quite some um, weapons and equipment and stuff, so we need a town portal to get the hell out of Dodge, just in case things go sour. We need a reflect. We need a mana shield. Won't long though. Won't last long though. Okay, here comes the fun part. Diablo! Shit! Reload. 
Why didn't you use the fucking town portal? Um... Eh? Where was I? Okay, we need to reload. I mean, to restock on stuff doesn't, can't really, can't really help it. What ails you, my friend? Well, what can I do for you? Um, repair. I sense a soul in search of answers. Oh, I still had two of those. I forgot. It doesn't matter. And in. And he's dead. What the fuck? Why did she do that? The soul stone burns with hell fire as an eerie red glow blurs your vision. Fresh blood flows into your eyes and you begin to hear the tormented whispers of the damned. You have done what you knew must be done. The essence of Diablo is contained. For now. You pray that you have become strong enough to contain the demon and keep him at bay. Although you have been fortified by your quest, you can still feel him clawing his way up from the dark recesses of your soul. Fighting to retain control, your thoughts turn toward the ancient mystic lands of the Far East. Perhaps there, Beyond the desolate wastes of Aranach, you will find an answer. Or perhaps, salvation. The end. So my friends, that was Diablo. The first game of the trilogy right now. And I really liked it. 
I really like this game a lot. But at the end, it it really jumps the shark. I mean, I mean, sh the rogue was really powerful, level twenty five or something or twenty six. Why didn't you just put the soul stone into her backpack and carry it to the far east? I mean, every monster that wanted to take it away, you could have killed. I mean, we we, we fought hard to go through the dungeon. And in the end, she rams the whole the the, the soul stone into her forehead. Why? And there was no sign that she was, you know, under the influence of the soul stone before. That's really weird. I I um, that's uh, that's the only thing I don't like about Diablo One, is the last ten seconds. <laughs> that's just ridiculous. But I guess yeah, of course they had to you know make the story take a twist here that so you don't really actually can play the character from Diablo 1 and Diablo 2. Uh, they have to start over. And of course I played Diablo 2 too and I'm I, I, I mean I do acknowledge that Diablo 2 with the skill trees and uh, stuff it adds lots of depth to the game that isn't in Diablo 1. Diablo 1 really shines with the dark and spooky atmosphere. That's something that Diablo 2 has not. Diablo 2 is more happy-go-lucky. It's bright and colorful and hmm, that's not as cool as Diablo. And I don't really like the, the, the whole saving idea or concept behind Diablo 2. I mean w when you when you save and quit and reload you always always again in the village and if you didn't find a new waypoint in the last uh, playing session you didn't make any progress at all and whenever you reload or return to the game all the areas where you fought the monsters are repopulated again I mean I understand the point of that uh, because Diablo 2 much more than Diablo 1 Diablo 2 is much more about grinding for loot and experience Diablo 1 is more a roguelike game of course you 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 want to get experience too to improve your character but you don't really grind that hard you play the game through till the end and then you start the game again and play it from the beginning to the end and again and again but uh, you don't revisit areas to kill more monsters and I get uh, some kind of satisfaction or a sense of accomplishment, of fulfillment, actually, of th out of the effect that I cleared an area. That after I'm done with the level, it's monster-free, and the monsters will not return. It's, so to say, safe for people to repopulate the area. But in Diablo 2, I don't have that. Whenever I return, all the monsters are there again. It's like, yeah, I think that's the point. Just slaying monsters for the sake of XP and loot is not enough for me. I want to have the the feeling that the, the character that I'm playing actually makes a difference in the world of the game. And I don't get that in Diablo 2. And it and I, I mean Diablo 3 I watched a few uh, LP videos of Game Hoarder. It really it really looks like a fun slaughter fest. It's colorful and it's bloody and gory and there's a lot of action and excitement going on it really looks like a fun game but it doesn't have the dark and gloomy atmosphere of of Diablo 1 and like in Diablo 2 I you don't seem to get that sense of fulfillment that you're actually making a difference in the levels whenever you come again the monsters are there again Although the story seems to be quite nice, I was quite intrigued by it. I only watched a few videos, but I liked that. It's probably a game that I would like to play, but probably I won't play it as often. Wouldn't play it as often as Diablo 1. And I will never play it uh, if, as long as it requires me to be online to play it in single player mode. But maybe one day GOG will have that game too, and maybe then I will buy it. Of course, then I would probably buy it and try it out. But for now, I think Diablo 1 is still, at least for me, the best game of the series. It's the only one that I play regularly and often, although I didn't play it for quite some years now. 
but I found a way to actually get it working on on Windows 7 very nicely. I didn't have to use any tricks, at least not many tricks, not nothing like virtual machine or anything. It's great. Yep. So that, my friends, was the Let's Play of Diablo. I hope you really enjoyed it. I certainly did. I'm gonna play it again now on Nightmare, I think, and then on Hell. And I will max out uh, Rackle Darian's skill uh, stats and try to get the best equipment. Maybe I will show you uh, what she looks like once I'm done with the with playing Diablo, but it may take a while. So yeah, that has been the Let's Play of Diablo. I thank you very much for watching and wish you a pleasant day. Goodbye.